Hi guys, happy July 4th, welcome to my live stream, yay! It's a beautiful day in Portland, Oregon, guys, welcome. So I'm coming live a little bit uh, before 12 noon, just to, you know, just get a taste of the waters. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. And yes, guys, if you are in here, please type something on the, on the message that I have to let me know whether you can see me fine, can you hear me fine? I'm so happy to be joining you guys. Yes, let me put my glasses on so I can read your messages. Welcome you all to my live stream. So today we're gonna have a very short live stream, guys, because I really don't have the much to talk to you about. But I just wanted to get in touch with you guys because I wanted to show you my test results for my candle for my candle line. So okay, hi Jackie. Can you hear me, Jackie? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Welcome everyone. I'm so happy, guys. Uh, so today. My husband and I are spending the day together in here. It's only he, he and I and um, our pets. So we're going to do a barbecue. We're going to do burgers. We're going to do a salad. We're going to do a, a fruit salad. And just chill out, you know, and just uh, just enjoy the day. It's beautiful weather. I hope you're all doing great. Yes. So let's see, guys. So I want to talk to you about my four beautiful candles. Here they are. So I today marks, I think, tomorrow is going to mark... And the two weeks that I've been curing them. So, hi Val, welcome. Uh, so guys, I've been struggling really with these candles because it's like I keep changing my mind, you know, about the formulation, about uh, the, uh, the kind of weeks that I wanna use for these candles. So it's been a very hard choice for me to decide, you know? So, but first I wanna show you, I'm gonna light them up so you can see how they burn. And I'm gonna to explain to you why I'm not too happy about the wooden wicks, okay? So this is the first one. This is the one, the woodsy one. They've been giving me a lot of a black zoot, black smoke, guys, and I'm not happy about that, you know? So I try uh, to cut this very, very tiny, you see? Okay, and guys, I don't like the sound. These are the Whisper, these are the Whisper Booster Wicks from the Wooden Wick Company. The series is 0 0.03 and the size is 0 0.625. Um, I just don't like, to me, they crack. Can you hear it? Can you hear it, guys? Yeah, okay. The second one, this is my floral candle. And again, I caught it very short. See how short I, I caught it? So let me just light it up for you. Okay, so light, lighting up. Hi, Erica, welcome. So this is my floral candle, guys. The next one is a sea salt based candle. And this one I left without uh, cutting the wick so I, I can show you the difference. You see all the carbon in there? So when I light this up, it's a ton, a ton of black soot coming on. So what I do for this is I take a piece of uh, a tissue, like a Kleenex like this, and then I just go into that, and then I just break it, so I can get rid of mostly, most of it. Do you see how short it is now? Okay, so let's see how this works now, because if it's been giving me, guys, so much black suit, it's unacceptable for a candle, to give, for a high-end candle to be giving me this much uh, black suit. I mean, the wooden wicks, they work beautifully. Thank you to Tanya. Uh, what is the Hawthorne uh, Candle Company that they put a video, thanks to them, I knew how to uh, prime uh, the wooden wicks. So they work like a charm. So it's not the wooden wick that is not working, it's just me. I don't like the sound, I don't, I don't like the black suit. Can you see the black suit coming on? Let me see. I'm gonna put them in here. 
And let me do the last one also. Again, I'm gonna clean the excess in there. So I just take, and I just break it. Okay. Now, this is what I'm, this, this is what I show you these guys. Uh, do you think uh, anyone that buys, that buys this candle is gonna be doing this every time they're gonna light it up? No. So because of that reason, because I know people don't do this, I'm not gonna be using the wooden wicks. Uh, you know, they're only gonna be lighting them up for God knows how many hours. They're gonna get the black suit everywhere. And then who are they gonna blame me? You know? Even when you give people direction cards on how to use this, they are never gonna, hi Maria, welcome. They are never gonna follow it. They are never gonna follow the instructions. Hold on. They are never gonna follow the instructions, you know. So that's why I'm not gonna put out in the market something that people, uh, you know, they are not gonna be using. Uh, they, they are not gonna be using the, the way they should be. Okay. So the, here are the, the candles. Let me just. Bring, I don't wanna bring you more because I had technical difficulties this morning. Let me see. I can just bring him over so you can see. So can you see? Okay. So I'm gonna give you my honest review. Okay, guys? And I'm gonna be very honest. Uh, I only like two of the candles. Uh, the only two candles that I like for me, for my candle line, is the floral base and the tobacco base. At the woodsy base and the sisal base, and uh, the scent is there, but it's not as strong as I want. You know, I wanna make a candle that makes a statement that makes like say, okay, this is this is Michael, this is Michael's candles, whatever it is. I want when people light this off to go like, wow, you know, where am I? You know, it's wonder what kind of scent is this. Uh, only two of these candles are doing it for me. You know, so the sea salt and the woodsy base, uh, they are not for me, guys. So I'm gonna keep working on the, I'm gonna keep working on the formulation. And can you see uh, the black suit coming up? Can you see it in this one? I mean, these two, the floral one or the, or the woodsy base, they're not doing it as much, but the bigger two candles are doing it and I don't like that, you know, so. Yes, Yaki, I'm gonna test, this is why I did not test the, uh, the cotton wicks uh, yesterday, because I, I, want, I wanted to show you this. I want you guys to see how the wooden wicks look on these candles, you know, and, you know, maybe you guys don't mind, but to me, I don't think that this is like a expensive candle when you have soot coming off from the candles, you know. I understand it could be the, uh, the formula, you know, maybe if I took the formulation and put less oil, maybe, but uh, overall, I just don't want to uh, give more time, spend more time, uh, invest more time, uh, trying to get uh, a wooden wick to work. You know, it's not, I rather, when I wanna get my candles ready to sell as soon as possible. So I just want, just, um, I'm just checking mark things that I don't have to do. So I'm not gonna be doing uh, the wooden wicks. Uh, hi, Edgar. I don't like, um, I was talking about it now. I don't like the, the wooden wicks because, I, first of all, I've been, I've been testing them for almost a year now. Uh, they are very unpredictable. Uh, these are working out fine because I did, um, I followed the Hodern, uh, Hodern, Hodern? Well, the last video that I posted, guys that I uh, prime the wicks using the same uh, wax um, um, formulation for every candle, that works fine. It's not that, it's just that it's giving me a lot of soot. I mean, now it's not doing it, but it's just, a candle is very unpredictable. And like I was telling before, uh, I have not received the LCS wicks. I wanna test those two also. Yeah, you know, so I'm not gonna use it. Okay, multi eye. So, okay, where do you get your candle jars with the cup handle? Which one are you talking about? This. This is not a candle jar. These are. Uh, this is what I use to pour the. Uh, 
what a port wax. Uh, hi, Edgar. I'm, I'm using soy bliss from 1617.com. I'm not using PB600 anymore. I put it away. I love this wax. I think it's giving me beautiful results. Uh, it's the only wax that I've been able to get a lot of HD and beautiful tops, you know, and it's, I'm very happy with it. And what I like about it is that I don't need to add any uh, additive. I don't have to have any Vibar in order to get a good HD. Okay, so Maria Campos saying, wouldn't we work for her? Uh, for with six, 6%, yes, I truly believe that, I truly believe that could be the case in this case that it's giving me a lot of smoke. 10% uh, a fragrance or a low is too much. So yeah, that could be the case. Okay, another reason why also I, I agree with, uh, with Maria is that uh, these wicks are way too big for these vessels. Uh, all of them except uh, for all of them. Uh, they gave me a uh, full melt pool within two hours except one, the sea salt one. And that one uh, gave me uh, the full melt pool after three and a half hours. So yeah, so let's see. Let me read, let's see. Okay, so uh, guys, I wanna show you which fragrance oils uh, from the Wooden Week Company I'm definitely not using anymore. This is my my preference, my taste. Many of you may, may like them, but I just wanna share this with you. Uh, what's your thoughts on coconut apricot cream wax? I don't like it. I think it's too soft. I think it. Uh, you need to add additives in order to make it solier, especially for, for the summer. I did not get any HD, any good HD using that, that wax. And the black pores, I got this from, I, I, I'm gonna link it below, okay? So I got it from Amazon. They are, these are the, the ones they use. If you go to Amazon, this is what they use to fro a, a frother. I think they call it a uh, coffee fro uh, This is where you add the milk for, on, on the coffee. Uh, when you go to Starbucks, this is where they add the milk and they boil it, you know, the frothers, I think it's called. So if you go to Amazon and, and just search for a coffee, Frothers, I don't know the, the name. But this, that's what I got it. And I got two sizes. I got this one, and I got this one. This is for small candles, and this one for big candles. Uh, so I'm gonna link it below, okay? So wait, wait until tonight, uh, and you're gonna see the link. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay, so fragrance oils that I do not like from that I won't be using anymore, and I try them on these candles are the first one, this one. Fla flowering clove and sandalwood. Uh, I love the smell, it does not deliver. If I could get a, a beautiful smell on any wax, I would love it. Unfortunately, I just I just can't. Okay, Daniel Ciclovan, what about IGI 600, 6006? I don't like 6006. I tried it many times, and again, it doesn't give me any any HD. I mean, I had the block sitting right over there, a huge block that I got it from Candle Science. You know, it's I'm not gonna throw it away. It's just sitting there. But I, I, I tested. I've not been able to. The only wax that I've been able to get. Good HD and beautiful tops is at the soy bliss from 1617.com. Yeah, Vibar, I don't need to add Vibar to this wax. That's the beauty of it. Uh, I, I When I was using PB600, I needed to add in order to get a good HD, Vibar 260, two yeah. Okay, the next fragrance oil that I don't like that is on these candles is this one. Have you guys tried this one? Blue Jasmine and Royal Fern. It's beautiful. Uh, once it goes into the candle, uh, the Royal Fern is too potent for me. I don't like it. Again, this is my preference. You know, people love it, people don't love it. I just wanna share with you 
I used this in the candles and I, it was not for me. Okay. The next fragrance oil that I don't like from uh, Wooden Wick Company that it's in these candles is this one. Okay, let me let me, let me just read this from uh, from Edgar. Okay, not gonna like. Okay, what I do is cut the wig with scissors. Okay, thank you, thank you, Edgar. Uh, I'm gonna be using CDN uh, uh, CDN wigs. So let me just. Okay, so this one, pig leaf and galbanum, guys. It's It's too overpowering, the green note of the leaf. It's too overpowering, so I'm passing on this one. Okay, now, yeah, you were very right, Daniel. Uh, I wanna give you two fragrance oils that I testing in these candles from Wellington Fragrance. The first one is this one. Beautiful scent. Beautiful. It smells expensive. It did not come through. It did not come through. Very, very upset because I spent a lot of money on this oil. The other one that I spent a lot of money is this one. If you guys can tell me which are your favorite company that has the orange blossom, Fragrance oil. I'm looking for the best orange blossom, and I have not been able to to find it. I got one from Candle Science. I got one from the Flaming Candle. I got one from Candles of Supplies. So I don't know where else to go. Uh, this one is beautiful. Again, it smells expensive. It's not coming through. It's not coming through on the candle. So I don't know what to do. You know, it's and I'm using 10% 10, 10 fragrance oil. So yeah, I just want to share this. Okay, Eric. Tell, tell me, what's a good place? Lone Star Candle Supply, yes. I like those, I like those, yeah. And they have a one, they have the, um, they have like a sea scent that is out of this world for Lone Star Candle. Let me, uh, let me, let me find it, okay? I'll be right back. Don't go away, I'm gonna go find that. that. Hi, Fancy, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. You know what? Thank you for reminding me, okay? I have this, this scent in here for Lone Star. Oh my God. This is amazing, guys. Uh, hold on, let me just close this. This is the name. This is Epic. Mirna Crafter Choice. Crafter Choice, let me take a note on that. Let me make a note of that. Okay, so guys, as you can see, the testing continues. So, so far I have two candles that I'm gonna put on the market. It's the tobacco base and the floor base, okay? Those two, the uh, the other two, I'm I'm just gonna scratch them out from the uh, from the menu, and just start over again, and yeah. Lone Star has good fragrance oil. Thank you for reminding me that because now I'm gonna I have a few of them in here. I'm gonna I'm gonna test them all out. I'm so glad that I got uh, the Wooden Week Company uh, fragrance oils out of my system. And the same with the Wellington, the same with Wellington Fragrance. Have you guys tried this, this company? Unfortunately, you know. Uh, yes, 1617 gave me a great fragrance company. One of them is one of my favorite guys. 
is uh, sweet cakes. Sweet cakes has the most amazing fragrance oils. They're very potent, and I have a few of them in here. Uh, but I need to order a few more because I ordered like the, the tiny amount for testers, and I, now I remember that I have to order more of those. Okay, uh, hemp wigs. Who sells those? Hemp wigs. Um, we have to remember, guys, uh, that the different waxes they tend to like different wigs. Like uh, for for my for these waxes, I'm gonna try. They recommend sixteen seventeen. I'm gonna be double wicking these containers. I'm gonna be double wicking. The small, the small thing here, the ceramic one, I'm gonna be using this, double wicking with this. And the bigger ones, I'm gonna be using double wicking with this. That's uh, what they recommend. So I'm gonna be doing this uh, this week, guys. So I'm gonna be posting another video from new spins combination. So we'll see. And the testing continues. Yes, I love sweet cakes. Are the wooden wig company sell the hemp wigs? Okay. I know that, you know, this is such a struggle. You know, now, now I understand, you know, it's like people think when you start making candles, oh, all you have to do is just melt the wax, dump uh, some oil, and, and that's it. No. Creating the perfect candle is a science. It takes time, it takes knowledge, it takes like practice and testing, 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 you know? I have not been, I did not get the wigs from, from Jeff Stanley yet. I'm, I'm still waiting for them, you know? So I haven't. I did get the, in that email a, a, a few, uh, like a week and a half ago saying that they were coming, but I don't know. I mean, they must be very busy. So I understand that, you know, it's, it's, you know, when I get them, when I get uh, the new with the LCS weeks, then I'll, I'll do a video on that too. Okay. Guys, do you have any questions for me? Do you wanna share any stories of any success, any fails, any any testing that you've done that will have worked for you that you wanna share with the group? Let's see. Okay. Okay, guys, so I guess I'm gonna leave the, uh, the live streaming here. It's gonna be a short one. So I'm gonna let you guys go and enjoy the weather. Okay, and I'll see you. I'm gonna post an, another video during the week and then I'll see you next Sunday. Okay, guys, so have a wonderful July 4th. Be safe. And let's see, what would you say to people that are saying candles without testing and with glitter? I will tell them, good luck. Uh, people don't want to listen, you know, it's people don't want to do research uh, when making candles. I've seen a lot of questions, I've seen a lot of people testing candles without doing any kind of research, you know, and so just, I mean, it's all live and learn, you know, I try, I try not to be negative, you know, I, I mean, I will suggest them to be, to do research, you know, and just to just learn from your mistakes and just keep going, you know, and just tell them, you know, uh, Mika or Mika, whatever you call it, it's only good on, on melts. Candles, it, it very, uh, it's very uh, tricky. That's why I don't like to use color on my candles because I think, I find once you add color to the candles, it changes the whole formulation and you get different results. So, you know, it's, yeah. I haven't thought about pack packaging my candles, guys, yet. And I want to concentrate on the on the formulation first, and then I go, then I, I just go by that, you know. It's but I want to make it very simple. I want to make it eco friendly, eco friendly, you know. And um, the best way for me to ship them uh, are very uh, low cost. Yes, uh, if you want to send me samples, fine. I have my PO box down on the description box below. Okay, so. A good wax in the summer, you know what? It's 
It all depends. I will not use co coconut apricot for the summer. Uh, it's it's very soft, so it could melt on the shipping. You know that's you know I'm gonna try. I think this one would be good to try. So yeah, you know, and I also recommend guys. You know, uh, there are so many uh, like candle uh, YouTube channels from the candle companies. Uh, if, if I were you, if you if you wanna. Uh, I think my question about because they are already in the business, like Memory Candle is one. You can ask uh, Jeff Stanley also, uh, which will be uh, the perfect wax for uh, for the summertime. Uh, yeah, I think that would be great. Okay, let me know, Daniel. Okay, send it to me. So uh, my PO box is on the description down below. Down below. If you open any of my other videos before this one, uh, you can get the address. But now, because when I finish the live stream, it takes like 24 hours for the video to process because it's a live stream. Uh, so if you go to a, new, uh, a video prior to this one, you're gonna see my uh, information. Yes, excellent. Okay guys, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna leave it in here guys. Have a wonderful day, be safe. Uh, be careful with the firecrackers. You know uh, they prohibit them in in Oregon because of the it's very dry in here. So to avoid fires. So yeah, okay guys, I love you and have a wonderful week. And I'll talk to you next Sunday. Okay, take care. Bye. Yes.